leadership literature has historically had a difficult time dealing with uh, this notion of power and politics in organization. Uh, the leadership literature comes from, an, I think, an admirable place. It comes from this notion that, as, as um, Kuznets and Posner say, uh, that leaders should model the way, they should be role examples, and behaving politically, uh, choosing to exercise power, is uh, seen as kind of unseemly and an unseemly business. But in the more kind of mature view and where our field has come is very much along the lines of Solancic and Pfeffer is this realization that an awful lot of how organizations are set up is about preserving the status quo. It's the bureaucracy, it's rules, it's entrenched positions. And that power and politics are the mechanism that really drives organizational adaptation. Uh, that power and politics are about organizational performance, and power and politics uh, are the vehicle for change, when the kind of change that Cotter argues defines leadership. And so, from our perspective, and, and you'll see in some of the readings we have in this segment, right? It's you're kind of it's a choice that you make. But I think Slancic and Pfeffer make a pretty powerful argument about it's also a leadership challenge, is how do we effectively with integrity and with the, the standards of leadership lead uh, our organization to be adaptive? How do we basically navigate uh, the kind of power disruption that happens when we have an industry level disruption. And these are all things that Solancic and Pfeffer highlight for us. And it's why I have this as the setup for this section. I don't want to talk about it as a dirty business. I want to talk about it as a leadership challenge. So while power may be difficult to define, uh, Solancic and Pfeffer point out, you ask people in an organization and they know who is powerful and they know, know who has the ability to get things done. It is not mysterious to people that are kind of in the trenches. Um, and here, here in this article else, and elsewhere in their other writings, and Pfeffer in particular is extremely prolific in writing about power. Um, and, and writing about the struggle for power, which, which is ultimately what defines politics. Uh, the argument is that it's inevitable in organization uh, and leadership needs to understand and act with power to preserve organizational performance. And I think that's a very important departure for us to understand is this is not a um, pathology we want to eliminate. It is um, a reality that we need to understand, and we, we want to lead it. Uh, in, this artic in the article, watch for the discussion of strategic contingencies. That's the change in strategic contingencies is the driver of change in uh, organizations. This is, and, and the driver is how change strategic, change, um, strategic contingencies, the most important problems of the organization, uh, alter the power within the organization. And, and it, it can be, again, quite ugly. It can lead to power struggles, uh, people being displaced. So it's not always pretty, but it is something that we definitely want to understand. Uh, and then, um, you know, pay attention to the adaptive mechanisms that power and power allocations drive in organizations. And the article doesn't really highlight, but for our purposes, I really want you to pay attention to, okay, there's these kind of mechanisms, almost like physics, that are driving the organization, but um, they're, they're not acting uh, independently. They're acting through people. And what is the role of leadership in this process of organizational adaption that is, is driven by discontinuities in the strategic contingencies for the firm?